Hello, this video is in response to a question on the two forum on how to use the BitFocus companion software together with the Stream Deck to control the Resolume Arena VJing software with two acting as an intermediary so that any control messages sent from the Stream Deck can be recorded and then played back within two. I'll show you how this works first and uh, then I'll show you how I configured to to uh, make this possible behind the scenes. So as you see I press the buttons on the Stream Deck and the clips in Resolume are triggered in response. And if you look in the incoming OSC messages of to, on the messages tab you see that the messages are coming in at the top and then they're sent out so now in the timeline I'll just press record and I just keep triggering clips there you go I should be enough to prove the point stop recording and I'll zoom in a bit. Here now I can explore the entire namespace. You see the little dot that means there is a recorded message and for clip one of layer one here are the two points where I trigger it. Uh, you need to, if you want to actually see or edit the messages because the namespace is quite gigantic. Uh, this is how you do it. Let's see, where's the connect? There you go. Etc. So for each player and clip, you can add the lane. Here's the connect messages that I sent. And if you want, you can also add new ones. And now if I play this back, those messages are sent to Resolume and it's reacting to them as if they were sent directly from the Stream Deck, including also the one that I just added. The recording is here, contains 21 messages and uh, all the messages are always within the clip even if you don't have a lane showing them these editing lanes are exactly that just for viewing and altering the messages but you can just hide them all they'll still be sent and they all live inside of the clip instantiated in the timeline so how did i make this I defined two network locations with the IP and port of Companion and Resolume. There's a namespace which is just that of Resolume since both Companion and Resolume use the same. By just starting Resolume essentially and uh, having it configured with a location, the entire namespace is built. If you don't want the entire Resolume namespace, you can just do this whole thing with uh, the Stream Deck and then turn off build namespace automatically and then we just contain the messages the Stream Deck sent instead of the thousands that Resolume would echo of its state. But anyway, it doesn't harm to have all of them here, just in case. Now, because Resolume keeps transmitting loads of messages, what I also did was I clicked on the Resolume address here and clicked Mute Input since I don't want it to be bombarding too with messages about its state constantly. So now we have a recap, the network locations, the namespace and two addresses, the Resolume 1, which uses the Resolume namespace and the Resolume location, and the companion, which uses again the Resolume namespace, but the companion location. Then I added the router here, crucial, 
what it does is any message received on a source location is sent to a destination location. Source I have companion, destination resolume. This is what forwards the messages from the stream deck to resolume. Without this, the two would not be connected. And finally, in the timeline lanes, anything received on the companion location is or address sorry is recorded and then when you press play it's played back as if it was just received so to two any message perceived as being received from playing back a clip you see them appearing here is processed the same way as if it was received by pressing one of the buttons here Um, I think that covers everything in this example. Of course, much more can be done. Uh, you could even record and play back the entire state of Resolume, not just the messages of Stream Deck, but that's a bit experimental right now because Resolume doesn't quite respond well to having its entire, entire state played back to it. Uh, I'm working on, on getting that working. This should definitely cover the use case of the forum question. Anything you're wondering, hit me up with the question on the two forum and uh, I'll answer right away. Also the two configuration and the stream deck configuration for this uh, will appear in a link below the video and in the forum. Thank you.